Hello, I am Mahmoudul Hassan. I am going to present fine grain emotion recognition from EEG signal using fast Fourier transformation and CNN. Our paper ID is 96. I am presenting on joint 2021 5th International Conference on IVPR and 10th International Conference on ICIEV. I am from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, University of Asia Pacific. There are three other authors in this paper, Ruksana Nishatanjum, Samina Yasmin, Tanma Sharkar Piyash. Among them, first two are from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, University of Asia Pacific, and the last one is from Department of Computer Science, Virginia Tech. We have segmented our presentation into some sections. At first, we will go to the introduction and a short overview of related topics. After that, we will state some problems of existing research then we will state our research statement after that we will review the latest work in this field then we will discuss about method methods and materials after that we will discuss about experiment then we will explain the experiment result and contributions and at the end of the presentation we will discuss about its application and future work what is emotion recognition using eeg signal it means with the help of EEG signal identifying human emotions. It may be needed to observe the human mental states in different situations, find out the psychological diseases and for improving the accuracy of human computer interaction automation technology. Let's discuss about the EEG and EEG signal. EEG is the abbreviation of electroencephalogram and normally this is a recording approach by which the brain signals are collected and these recorded signals are known as EEG signal. By setting some sensors named electrodes on the human skull surface, EEG data are collected. In dimensional space, human emotions are possible to express with two dimensions, arousal and phalanx. Arousal is a measure of mental condition that ranges from calm to excited where phalanx is the negative or positive effectivity. Going to work in this field, we have found two major problems. Number one, almost every researcher works with binary classification, but this binary classification can recognize four emotions only. And each of these four emotions act as a bundle of emotion instead of representing precise real life emotions. And number two, it is possible further improve the classification accuracy in this field. Our research statement is fine grain emotion recognition from EEG signal using fast Fourier transformation and CNN. In literature review, we have found so many model architectures are used in recent works like long short term memory, convolutional neural network, channel fuse dense convolutional network, etc. We have found 89.83% is the best accuracy among the LSTM models and 91.51% is the best accuracy from CNN models. Besides LSTM and CNN model architectures, many other model architectures are contributed in this field. The CDCN model shows the best accuracy among all other models and this is 92.58%. This is the graphical representation of latest research works accuracy and we can see that LSTM, CNN, CDCN show the top level accuracy. To complete our research we need to follow some steps. First we need to collect EEG data then apply the pre-processing technique on it then pre-process data are needed to extract it into effective features and then train the model on extracted feature for classification. Deep data set is used for our research work and this data set is publicly available. Deep data set contains 32 people's multimodal data. To collect this data is used 40 channels. Among these 40 channels 32 are used to collect EEG data. Here used 128 hertz frequency as sampling rate. For collecting data, every person is shown 1 minute long music videos. Total number of music videos are 40. 
After watching those videos, everyone rated them following a continuous scale from 1 to 9. These ratings are done based on arousal, valence, dominance, and liking. In the deep data set, each person's data are stored in an individual file, where every file contains level data along with main data. Main data are found in 14 to 14 to 8064 format, where first 40 denotes the trial number and second 40 denotes the channel number and 8064 refers the number of data. Label data are found in 14 to 4 format, here 40 denotes the experiment number and 4 represent the dimensions. Here we have plotted one person's deep EEG signal. We have used pre-processed deep data set. As a result, we did not face the hassle of pre-processing and all of these pre-processing techniques were applied by the deep data set authority. Pre-processed EEG data are extracted in two steps. At first, we decompose the raw EEG data into alpha, high beta, low beta, theta, and gamma subbands based on frequency. At that time, we have maintained the window size 256, sample rate 128, and step size 16. The decomposition is done with Fourier analysis, and for this, fast Fourier transformation has been applied. After the decomposition, the CNN filter are used to extract the deep features. Decomposition is required so that CNN filters can pick up the more effective deep features. This is our proposed model architecture. It consists of four segments before the flattening layer, where each segment has convolution layer, batch normalization, and max pooling layer. After flattening layer, three segments are exist with dense layer and dropout layer. We have experimented with six different 1D CNN model architecture and selected the best one. Then train this model one extracted features. We have also tuned hyperparameter to get the best accuracy. And we also applied our model on the test dataset to evaluate its performance. So far, binary classification is the conventional method. It returns four emotions only. In this method, we have achieved the best accuracy. We have got more than 96% accuracy, where the state of the art is 92.5%. Which emotions were classified into four states in binary classification? Those emotions are divided into 64 states in 8 class classification. This method is proposed by us, and for this, we have achieved more than 93% accuracy. Throughout the research, we have tried to address those problems which I have mentioned in the research problem statement. For this, we have proposed 8 class classification which is able to recognize 64 emotions precisely. And for binary classification, we have got the highest accuracy. This research knowledge could be applied properly in various fields. And the optimal result could be bring something beneficial for human civilization. It may be applied for observing psychological condition, fatigue detection, ATM user security, improving e-learning system, etc. In future, we will try to convert it into a real-time system. We will also try to make it more portable and we will try to improve the 8 class classification accuracy. We believe in reproducibility, so we published our model and simulated code in the GitHub for further analysis, and this is the GitHub repository link. These are the references which we have used for our presentation. And thank you everyone for your kind attention.